Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery from Montgomery Investment Management. Data centres are quickly becoming essential infrastructure in Australia and around the world. To explain data centres and their business model, I'm joined by David Tudhope from Macquarie Telecom. David, tell me about data centres. How do they work? Data centres are purpose-built buildings where the cloud lives. It also is like a hotel. You have corporate customers who go, it makes sense to have our computers, our storage, our IT systems in a highly reliable location and, and data centers act, act as that location. What you do find is a very end of needs as well because some customers say we just want the space, much like a service department. Other customers say, you know, we want, we want some services as well there. Um, you know, we'd, li we'd like to have room service. We'd like to have the, the apartment clean. And all these things are also things we provide. So and customers have become far more um, sophisticated in working out what the right mix is and how that mix, and that mix indeed may change over time. David, why has there been so much growth in data centres? Data centres have grown for two reasons. One, there's been a mega trend of corporates moving out of their offices uh, and moving into purpose-built data centres because it's more reliable and more cost-effective. The second driver is, frankly, the whole shift towards the cloud. And that's only been accelerated in the last three months with COVID. Uh, where people are using the cloud more and more. That means more and more IT infrastructure needs to be built up. And all that lives inside data centres like our own. So David, who uses data centres? Who are your customers? Yeah, we've got two types of customers. We have the large cloud providers who are growing extraordinarily in this COVID time. Um, and for them, they sometimes build their own data centres, but very rarely. They normally use large third-party data centers like our own. The second type of customer is corporate customers. Corporate customers are moving their computers out of their offices, out of the IT rooms they've had for many years, and moving them into big, highly reliable data centers like our own. David, how would you describe the competitive landscape in Australia for data centers? The data center industry has evolved. We, we opened the first data center in Sydney uh, a bit over 20 years ago, and uh, at the time, people did a mixture of, of corporate customers with a little bit of wholesale. Today, it's changed somewhat in that there are dedicated wholesale data centers. There are people who do corporate customers only, and there are organizations that do a bit of both, uh, wholesale and corporate customers. We're in, that, we're in that final category. We do wholesale customers and corporate customers. So David, when you talk about corporate customers moving their computing out of their own offices, what, what's actually happening there? So for corporate customers forever, they have had computer rooms inside their offices. Uh, and this means inside them they have servers, they have storage, uh, and this was then the way it's been forever. But in more recent years, reliability has become a big issue. Uh, and the power consumed by these computers has become issues. So they're going, right, well, this is not an efficient use of office space. It's also not as reliable as what you can do when you purpose build a center just for servers and storage devices. And that's what a data center is. And this has been a mega trend that's been going for some 20 years now. But we're seeing every time a company moves offices, they think it's, it makes sense that we should shut down our old computer room rather than build a new one and move the equipment out. Talk to me about a typical business model, the business of running a data center. Yeah, the business of running a data center involves a few things. First of all, it's about having an excellent engineering operations team to make sure the data center is always up. The second part is making sure that you're really tuned into what the customers need because customers are becoming more and more prescriptive of what they need by way of the setup when they arrive. Somebody's sitting at home on their computer, they're shopping, uh, they're recording a webinar, uh, how does that relate to data centres? Just explain the link from the consumer all the way through to your facility here. And that ties very much with our business model. So for the first part is, of course, you need the internet link, uh, whether, it's on the, whether it's on the uh, mobile or at, the, at home on the Wi-Fi, the internet is critical. Uh, we're a telecom provider. We do provide telco links for business customers. The second piece is that when it gets to the data centre, uh, it's critical to have an environment that's always up, that's highly reliable. And this is critical because you know, people's patience with applications that don't perform or that uh, are down is just today has disappeared. And so therefore the always up element is critical. 
the impact also in terms of lost transactions or confidence around security is equally important. So for these reasons, people who have large corporate networks as well as those that in your example uh, were doing uh, online purchasing, uh, online websites, uh, it's absolutely essential you have an always up environment. And that's what we provide at Macquarie.